talking about Charlie so, Pine. So, so who, who's that to somebody that can just what have you got of his that we're looking at here? I have his hats, his epilepsy, his bugle, drum straps, all his music books, his medals, his two drums, his fork, knife, and spoon that he carried <laughs> through the Civil War. also have his two muskets that he carried in the Civil War. These two belong to Charlie Pine. Wow. And the Palmer Post, who is Palmer? The Palmer Post is depicted over here in that glass case is a picture of Charlie Palmer. Oh, and oh, all oh. I have of him is in that cabinet. And this is the history of Charlie Palmer. He died during the Civil War, but not because he was injured or killed. He died of exhaustion because he was a medic. Oh, and oh. he just was, was just attending to all his those injured. Superiors kept telling him he had a rest, he had to eat, and he said, if a man is bleeding, I'm going to take care of him, and he died of exhaustion. Why was the uh, GAR uh, 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 post named after him? Well, when the boys came back from the Civil War, they established the Palmer Post, naming it after Charlie Palmer. That's their ballot box up there. So all the boys, when they came back, they went... Of course, they came. They brought everything back with them. Well, mom and dad didn't own great big houses that they could display everything or care about. They took all their weapons over to the Palmer Post. Well, when the Palmer Post disbanded in the early 1900s, because so many of them had passed away, some of them were of ill mind, some yeah. of them were crippled. They called the historical and said, we're going to disband. Do you want what we have? Well, fortunately, the historical society said, yes, we'll take it. That was 1924. Good Lord, that's early. Wow. 24. And, and uh, what are some of the crown jewels of this collection? The other thing I think I recalled was that you had some one, things that were provenanced in the photographs. Like, is that... One, one th what I've done is I've found pictures of the boys and I've tried to put them back with their weapons. Like this fella is who? This fella is... Hyde. William Hyde? Yeah. And that would be his weapon. And in the other cabinets, you'll see these are the Skinner brothers with theirs. That's Caleb Newman with his sword. And when Caleb Newman came back from the Civil War, he was Winston's first police chief. And over here, it's William Batchelor, when he went into the Civil War, he took his horse Dandy with him. So you see Dandy, and here's Dandy's saddle, Good Lord. just like you see it up <laughs> it's there. It's fantastic. So wow. it all ties Mr. Batchelor. Oh, yeah, here we got You've even got yep. this uh, label. From and there's his mug from the barbershop. So That's you could really mug. tell a story about him. Yeah. Mr. Almost, yeah, yeah, right. fantastic. And they made, they ran a size shop and went to the back. So we're so supportive. We so you got it in them? We do not get any money from the town or the state, or oh. we're strictly on our own, oh, wow, which great. is great because that's unique. Winston's finances are in such yeah, well, I know they have dire problems. This is a bird's eye view of Winstead. The Mad River passes through it and it was an industrial boom town powered by water, eventually steam and railroads. 17 years ago, collecting products that were made in Winstead so that we could preserve the history of what built the town from one man that founded Highland Lake into 12,000 people. And this is it. It's the industry. But this, this is all products made in Winstead that built this town. And I've done all the research, all the history. What are some of your favorite things Don't here? Blame. My favorite thing, I guess because my grandparents and my father, my father was the last employee that walked out of the Winstead hosiery. Oh, really? My grandparents worked there. Oh, great. And I didn't know this that. Is what was their name? Williams. This is all products of the Winstead Hosiery. This is the history, when it was started, who started it. And this is everything you see in this case. These are some nice looking products here. Made, 
Winston, the hosiery, if you look at this, see it says Naval Clothing Depot. They made the navy blue wool sweaters for the wow. during the Second World War for the Navy. And what's a scoop? I know Pins was one of your pins, things. Pins, we had two pin companies. This is um, Union Pin Company. There was another one that's over here. New England Pin. We had Empire Knife. We had a button manufacturer. And we had size shops are what originated here. Right. The size shops. Oh, God, look at the flood. The flood. That's oh. 55, and I have one little one over there that's oh, the 38 man. flood. Oh, how awful that is. The 55 was disastrous. And what's over here? These are, oh, this is so clock? That's Gilbert clock, and these are, if you look on the end, you'll see William L. Gilbert Co clock company. Good Those Lord. Those were the shipping trunks. Those you know, now we call them containers that come over on the... The cargo containers, yeah. Cargo containers. Yeah. Well, this is what... What the cargo container of that generation this, was. This is what Gilbert used. Wow. Fascinating. And Shipping did, clocks did, all did over. Did the society collect these things when the company went under to some degree? No. I, I started begging people to give me things. And this this is new. These are... I've only had a couple of months. That's a big, they're big objects. Who, who on earth had something they like this? They had them in their attic and they couldn't wait to get rid of them. <laughs> Thank you. Really? Borden Oak started here? Borden had a factory down on where the old railroad was. And these uh, blenders, uh, uh, tell us about Waring these. Waring started in Winston. That's one of the first Waring blenders. They had connected. This one is points. one of the first? Yeah. And Ryko was an electric coffee pot manufacturer. Of course, we had Capital Products. You had Fitzgerald's Magic Made. It was Wearing all made blenders. in Winston. Wearing blenders. I want one of those popcorn poppers. They they made those. Yeah. <laughs> was Capital that the Wearing products. Company no. that would have Capital, Capital Products? Made Capital those. Products. When did they go under? <sighs> I'd Approximately. say it's been about twenty twenty five years, maybe now. 20, oh God! Look at these. Years. Yeah, Twin Company is now the looking ones. for them to buy me How much? Uh, three tables and a few chairs for people to sit at to view these to view once them. I got so, them. Okay. And they, I, you know, I'm, I'm talking about it was five or six hundred dollars at the well, most, you know and they what? denied I, me. Well, you know, I, I, I. This video wasn't exactly uh, Ken Burns. It was pretty simple and made on the quick and with no preparation. But uh, did you catch the last little piece of this? Millie Hudak, who may be one of the most gifted curators in the state of Connecticut, has been functioning as a volunteer, taking this thing on and making it brilliant. And when she finally went and asked for a $500 grant, she was turned down. You've got to be kidding me. The opportunity for Connecticut to transmit an extraordinary sense of place and to really animate its communities depends deeply on the quality and character of organizations like this. And the ability of them to do what they need to do to be functional depends on foundations and government agencies stepping up and doing their job in a way that makes a difference. Thank you, and please visit 